Good morning. So this session we are going to see about uh, basis path testing. So here we will see uh, how to derive the test cases uh, using the basis path testing method. You all know that uh, basis path testing is one of the uh, white box testing method. For this I have taken a scenario like uh, we are going to calculate the cyclomatic complexity for a logic called uh, calculating the uh, biggest of three numbers and then how to derive test cases from it. So for that uh, the steps includes uh, first you have to write a C program and then from the program you have to draw the flow graph and then you have to calculate the independent path then only you can calculate the cyclomatic complexity. So let us start with the first step. First step is you have to write the C program for the given scenario. So here we have taken the scenario finding the greatest of three numbers. So for that we need three variables. I have uh, declared the three variables A, B, C and the next line is I am reading the three variables A, B, C and the logic here is if my A value is greater than B and C then A is biggest. Else if my B value is greater than C then I have to consider B is biggest. Else I have to consider C is biggest. So this is the scenario. First you have to write the logic then you have to number each and every line. So I start with the numbering first line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now I will tell you how to draw the flow graph from this program. So here first line I have to the notation used here is circles and arrow marks. Circles we say it as nodes and the arrow marks we say it as edges. So I'll start with the first line. So how my program uh, control flows that I have to represent as a diagram which is we refer it as flow graph. So from the first node the compiler will then execute the second line followed by the third line. So here it is a sequential data flow and uh, the third line is a condition statement. So if this condition is true it goes to fourth line and if the condition is false it moves to the fifth line and again fifth is a conditional statement if my condition is true it moves to sixth point and if my condition is false it moves to the seventh line segment and if uh, the condition is false it comes to the else part and it executes the line number 8. So you have to draw an end node called 9 and you have to close the control. So this is how you draw a flow graph. So now the second step is determine the independent path. So first path is path 1 is I will start with the first node I will move on to 2, 3 if my condition is 4, I will print A is biggest and I will come to the end. Then the second path is, I will start with node number 1, 2, 3 and if the condition is false, it will move on to the fifth node and here let me assume that the condition is true, so it will move on to the sixth node and it will print B is biggest and it will come to the end. Then the last path is I will start with the first node, second node followed by third node and fifth node. If the condition is false I will move on to the seventh node and I will print C is biggest and I will come to the end. So this one is going to print A as biggest, this one B and this one C. So for this scenario we have three independent paths. So second step is over. Third step is you have to calculate the cyclomatic complexity. So which is uh, referred as V of G. That is the notation you have for uh, the cyclomatic complexity. Cyclomatic complexity can be calculated using three formulas. So V of G can be given by E uh, minus N plus 2 or you can also use P plus 1. P means predicate node and a number of regions. So these are the three formulas. So first edges means arrow marks. You have to count the arrow marks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Totally 9 arrow marks is there edges minus number of nodes is 9. 
edges is there. Number of nodes is 9 plus 2. You will get 3. Number of predicate nodes means condition nodes. Here you have 2 outgoing. This is a condition node. So this is 1p. And the 5th node again you have 2 outgoing. So this is another predicate node. So you have 2 predicate node in this scenario. So 2 plus 1, 3. Number of region is you have to find the closed region. So this is one closed region R1. And this is another closed region R2. And you have to consider one outer region R3. So totally you have three regions. So using all three formulas you have to get the same answer. So here for this scenario the cyclomatic complexity is 3. Then last step is you have to derive the test cases. So here you have two test cases. The two predicate node is the two test case. So your first test case is A should be greater than B and C. And the next test case is uh, B is greater than C. Okay. I hope you understood. Uh, next uh, video we will see about uh, some other testing methods. Thank you.